Kayla. I'm here to do a book tag. Today I'm doing, I'm doing the last 10 book tags out, or last, what's it called? I'm doing the last 10 books tag. I was tagged to do this by Brianna over at Rainy Days and Stormy Nights and Jessica and Christina over at Game and Tomes. So let's do this. Today I'm going to try a new beer. It is um, from Shiner brand, but it is Shiner Hill Country Peach Wheat. So let's... Oh. Ooh, that is really peachy. At first it tastes like the peach like Boone's Bar, but then the aftertaste has an aftertaste of just like a, a wheat beer. I don't, maybe I need to pour it out. <laughs> Sometimes beer is better in a glass. I'm pouring it out, that's what I'm doing right now. You can't see it. Okay, a little better. The peach isn't as aggressive. Okay, that's weird. Uh, fruity beers, I'm definitely hit or miss, cause. Okay, to the questions. Last book you DNF'd. So I technically DNF'd Rust and Stardust, but it's not like, for me an official DNF is like, I'm done with it, I'm never going back. This one I'm just like putting down because this is an abduction tale about like a young, how is it, like 11 year old, by like an old man. And before the abduction even happens, this book is really sad because it's from the perspective of the girl and her mom. And her mom's a widow two times over and she has like really severe arthritis and she's working overtime to provide for her daughter. And the daughter has like no friends. The, girl, the main girl has like no friends. And her closest friend was like her older sister who just got married and is pregnant. So it's just like really sad to begin with. And then it was, I, it was starting getting into the man taking her and it's just manipulation and it's just, it's, I don't know, it's really sad. Like, I just can't handle it right now. Last book you reread, that would be Harrow County Volume 3. I was rereading these when I went to Homecoming, my college homecoming, thinking that I could read all the comics on the road. Can't really read in the car anymore because I'm old. So I got through Volume 3. There's eight volumes out, like the, the run is over. I still haven't read the last volume, I own it. I wanted to do a reread so that, you know, it's more fulfilling as a finale. And yeah, I haven't quite done that yet. Last book you bought, the last book I technically bought is a book for my secret Santa. So it's a secret. Last book you said you did it, you read, but you did it. Okay, so for that, that's taking me back to school and I'm pretty sure that was Midnight's Children by Salman Rushi for my lit and film class, like magical realism about children born at midnight and they have powers or something. I, don't, I did not read that at all. Last book you wrote in the margins of, uh, that's probably, I, the only books I've ever written in were any of my college books, so some communications book. Last book you had signed, Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. She was just a delight. Okay, next question is last book you had to have replaced and that would be these books from my childhood. Ooh. I had these books growing up and these were like the two books I read the most ever growing up. I didn't own a lot of books growing up. Uh, these are still maybe at my dad's house, I'm not sure. Um, my dad has passed away and I didn't have the best relationship with him so I bought these for myself and I bought a pair for my sister so that we could have them but basically they're just like like this one has five short stories and this one has two longer short stories the ghost who loves toast can you see it they'd have like certain words for like context clues like this says important the statue was important so yeah these are mine but they're not the originals I had as a kid uh the last book you had an argument over I don't really argue but um I think like me and my husband, we both read uh, Ready Player One this year and went and saw the movie. So we kind of like 
argued, bantered, as husband and wives do, about what parts we liked, what parts we didn't like. Glenn recently just brought up that he thought that if the movies did like a trilogy on the book, that would have been better. And I was like, no, that's way too many movies for Ready Player One. And lastly, the last book you couldn't get a hold of and Believe it or not, it was another horror book from Austin Public Library did not have. I guess the people of Austin don't like horror books. Um, so I have Exorcist, Exorcist Falls. This is, a horror, this is a horror book I recently just added to my TBR and my library doesn't have it, so. All right, those are all the questions. Thanks for watching. I'll have some people tag below, whoever hasn't done this. Um, feel free to do this if you want to. Thanks for watching. Links down below for social media things if you want to be friends, send each other gifts. That's like my favorite thing to do on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.